welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm with the Modern Vintage. Today I have a small little haul for you that I picked up at the Durham Mission Outlets. I'm going to commonly refer to that as the bins. Um, it's very much like the Goodwill bins. I've said it in the past in a couple of my videos. Um, basically you go, it's just sort of their overflow of um, items that they've had donated. They put them in these big, huge bins that you just sort of rummage through and there are broken items. There are old items. There are, there's, there's a little bit of trash in there every once in a while, but um, sometimes you can find some real treasure. So um, on this particular trip, uh, it was on Saturday and they were supposed to have the bins indoors uh, starting this weekend, in fact. And um, when I got there, the tent was still up. It's under this big white tent. It has been for the last couple of months and um, the tent was still up. And so I was a little bit disappointed because I was hoping it would be indoors and especially on Saturday. It was about 62 or 63 degrees when I got there. There are no lights under the tent and so it can get a little bit dark, especially at 8 a.m. Um, so I was really hoping for an indoor shopping adventure, but we got an outdoor shopping adventure and that's okay. I mean, hands were freezing, but I layered up and I was good to go. So, um, this particular trip, I spent $10 um, at the bins, and I'll show you everything I got for $10. Um, I did meet up with Joanne. Uh, Joanne, for most of you, um, are actually from her channel, and she had mentioned that we went shopping together and was sweet enough to send you my way. So a lot of you guys are from her channel, but if you're not, you should go check her YouTube channel out. It's A Work in Progress is the name of her channel. Again, A Work in Progress, and her name is Joanne. And we just had the best time. Um, this is our second week in a row for shopping, and um, I'm just learning lots from her, and it's just fun to have a thrifting buddy. So um, next week, we have a great little surprise. We're actually going to uh, some Goodwill bins, which is a little bit different from this this type of bin so um, we're going next week uh, on Saturday and it's about an hour and a half drive I think and so we're going together and it should be a lot of fun so we'll have some videos both of us on the things that we picked up there so let's get started on this little haul here Again, everything that I got was $10 total. Um, everything is weighed and then you pay by the weight. And so um, you can definitely, like I said, find some treasures and get some really, really good things. So let's go ahead. The first thing that I got, I tend to take a little bit of a risk when I pick up items there because at maybe on average 50 cents an item um, I can afford to take a little bit of a risk so I've got a few items that I'll tell you yeah this was a bit um, of something I had no idea if I would actually sell but I'm going to go ahead and post it um, probably on my Etsy page but the first one is this interesting mask I think he's really really fun let me bring him back a bit He's probably about maybe about 14 15 inches tall he's lightweight he is made out of wood and um, most likely hand painted. He does have this little flimsy string here, so I think probably hanging him up with something a little bit more sturdy would be great, but I just feel like he would be awesome up on the wall. And um, I think somebody is gonna scoop him up. Yeah, maybe just boho decor, and I just think he would make an interesting addition to somebody's home. So there's that one. Um, another thing that I took a bit of a risk on because I love pottery and my husband, I asked him what he thought this was and he called it the poop pottery. So you'll see why. So it's just this interesting little piece here. Um, it has this swirl up at the top. It's kind of strange, but I think somebody would like him. Um, I really, I, I just think he is kind of uh, an interesting little abstract piece. I don't think he has any purpose. I'm not even sure you could put like a tea light in him. I'm not sure why you would want to. He's just kind of fun, maybe a little bit of a conversation piece. Again, I pulled these directly out of the box that I bought them in, so they're still kind of dirty, but um, yeah, he's, he's kind of fun. I'm gonna bring him in close so you can see him. There are no markings at the bottom, so he's just a hobbyist piece. Somebody was trying their hand out at some pottery, so it ended up in my collection, which I'm excited about. Now you know that I am 
really enjoying putting together some basket wall collections for people. They're really, really popular right now. And um, so I've been picking up baskets as I go. So I picked up a few. Um, the first is this one. It's kind of a vase shape and it's woven rattan. So it's good and it's hard. I think dried flowers um, up on the wall would be really, really beautiful in this. Um, this is about, I would say about 10 to 12 inches tall so it's good size um, it does have a marking at the bottom um, I think it says 1991 in somebody's name now let me explain um, the prices on here so what I think the the mission thrift stores do is they price everything as it comes in and then they decide okay these are going to go into the bins and then these are going to go to one of four stores and so a lot of items do have stickers on them pardon me they do have stickers on them but again everything that I buy there is by weight so had this gone out to one of their stores it would have been 99 cents but in this case it was by weight in keeping with baskets I got this cute little basket um, this one is kind of deep I still think it would be great on the wall if you've got it in a place that um, you know you've got some room and it doesn't matter that it kind of sticks out from the wall it's just fine um, or you could put two really cute plants and I think this would hold probably two um, four inch nursery pots at least um, or maybe I'm not sure it'd hold two six inch nursery pots, but I just think it would be really cute with some floral stuff coming out of it and so, or some, some plants would be cute. So I got this. So Joanne picked up these two pieces. I thought they were really interesting. We were talking about sort of mixing up some of the things that we're putting on basket walls or that I'm putting on basket walls and um, having some pieces just for interest alone. And so these are actually these leather bowls with these beads sewn onto them. So um, this one is a really pretty tan um, leather with just these interesting beads that sort of go kind of along with that tan um, and they're sewn on. So the way that I would put this on the wall is to get one of those adhesive um, stickers that goes on the back and it's got a little hook to it. You could attach it directly here and then be able to hook it onto the wall. I wouldn't pierce the leather. I just don't think that would be very good, but there's that one. And then the other one I was showing you is actually a suede. So you can see the suede in the back and it's black with the same color um, beads as the other one. So I just think they're going to be really kind of unique on the basket wall and um, or if somebody is just interested in it, I am starting a collection of um, oh, here they are, of wool little knitting balls and uh, just anything just kind of fun to collect something small you could add to a really interesting little plate like this little bowl. And there's those. And that's it, I think, for my baskets. Well, not quite, but I don't think this one's going to be a basket wall basket. It might be. So this one I picked up and I wasn't sure really I didn't know much about it it's got this fruit it's got a watermelon and some grapes and some lemons and some oranges it's in really good condition it's got a few little stray pieces right here but other than that it's in good condition it's got this linen on the inside um, and so interestingly enough last night I was watching another youtuber and she had picked one of these up and um, they actually hold serving dishes like the Pyrex glass dishes go inside this and then you can carry it um, so I just thought that was so cute now I have some Pyrex dishes I probably will sell it without but I will list what size Pyrex you can put in it so how fun is that I don't think this would be very fun on the wall because I just don't think that you would see much of the the fruit but if you used it for its intended use I think it would be really really great in keeping with kind of fruits and vegetables and such. I pick these up. Now, these are the types of things that I think my grandmother has in her kitchen. They are ceramic vegetables. There's garlic and a radish and maybe a, 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 it looks like purple cabbage kind of and some corn. And again, they are ceramic. They're kind of like a bell because they do jingle. And there's one broken spot on them. Uh, this little radish has a little broken spot right there. You can see that, yeah. Other than that, they're in really great condition. Total vintage pieces. I just think, how cute is that in the kitchen? Maybe you have a kitchen window that you'd like to hang these in. So, 
so precious. All right, moving right along. Um, let's see, I picked up this cute little duck. Isn't she precious? Little sassy thing. She is white and light blue. Her beak is in perfect condition. She is uh, not marked with anything on her, but I just think that for your country decor, she is adorable. She'd be great on a bookshelf. She'd be really good um, even as a centerpiece um, with maybe some blue and white dishes. And again, just a really cute kind of country decor look. She's got a sweet, sweet face. And I just love her. I think she's really, really precious. So I think she'll make somebody very happy. Did get this one. It is, let me see if you can see that. I've got this cute little design here. It is dirty as can be. I, again, took it straight out of the box and brought it to you. So again, it's a nice little dirty piece, but it's really cute. And again, no chips or cracks. I'm always amazed when I find ceramic pieces in these, in the bins that are not broken. So I think that um, that's amazing because if you watch people, when they see something that they don't really want, they just toss it back. And um, I, I think Joanne and I have been tempted to say something a few times, like, wait a minute, other people might want that. So, um, and it may not be the item that they're throwing back, it's actually what they're throwing back that might land on something that's breakable. T tomorrow, I'm gonna be shooting a video of all my house plants because on Sunday, I brought all my house plants in from the back porch. They've been enjoying this wonderful weather. And then now that there are the occasional nights that have dipped down into the 40s, it was time to bring them in. So I brought them in, I cleaned them up, and got them sort of integrated into my house. And so I'm gonna do some, uh, a big video on that. Um, but I thought this little swing here could be really cute, either hung from two separate hooks on the ceiling or one here. And then you could put a couple of pieces, um, a couple of plants on them. So I just really thought that was cute. Um, I think somebody, I, I belong to a local, plant group and I think somebody will scoop this up. So um, especially since people are bringing in their house plants and people bought a lot of house plants while it was warm and then now they don't know what to do with them. So going vertical with some of these is probably a smart idea um, in making, you know, trying to make room for all these plants. So again, I'll show you how I made room with my plants. Um, I picked up this little pewter picture frame. I've been picking up a couple of pewter frames and kind of getting a collection going of those. So it's super cute. Um, pardon me. Let me just back it up a little bit. Okay. So here's this one. It looks like it was originally $2.99. It probably local. It actually looks like a Ross sticker. So I, I don't know, but it's really cute. I like the design to it. And I think combined with a few others, um, it'll make a nice collection. And then I, so these are sort of special to my heart. So my grandmother growing up, I always had, dim that light. I always had, uh, she always had these gold frames, these vintage gold frames. And she had um, probably about maybe 40 of them on her wall in her bedroom when I was growing up, maybe even more. So she has, seven grandchildren. I was the first. And um, all of our pictures, starting with our newborn picture to whatever year we were, um, every school year, we had our picture in one of these. And so, um, again, there's just, it's nostalgic for me, these gold frames, um, this exact kind. So I have two of them now, and I am either going to collect them as a set or collect them for myself and maybe put my own grandchildren into them. Next up is this cute little brass candlestick holder, a little floral piece, a little loop for your finger, and um, this will be added to a collection as well, but very pretty. Um, I think it says made in India, so super cute. A lot of the 
candlestick pieces that I'm finding. Um, I was looking up some ideas on Pinterest and people are using them for like weddings, like on the guest table um, or the head table and putting this really eclectic collection of um, these brass candlestick holders and then different color tapers. You can also do that for the holidays. You can do a really fun eclectic collection of candlestick holders and do reds and greens um, and then switch them out every holiday if you wanted to. So I just really enjoy picking these up and then being able to put them with other pieces. It's a little kind of kitsch napkin holder. It does sit like this, but what I think I'm going to use it for, and I may put it up in for sale, but what I'm going to use it for most likely is just as a backdrop to some of my pictures. For some of my fun, more retro pieces that I end up picking up, um, I usually add my piece with some things in the background, so I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, this one on the inside says, there's no better way to spend a day than in good company to slow down, take a little Leisure is the happiest method of living. So there you go. I thought that was really cute. And I picked up a super cool vintage photo album and I really love the color to this. It's this green woven um, material and it's in great condition, of course, great vintage condition. Um, the pages are, you know, yellowed, but once you put pictures in it, you wouldn't even know, but I just love this. Um, people just don't have pictures anymore. My grandmother's got albums and albums of each of us. So, um, I don't know, maybe I need to start that for my own kids. Cause I think there's just something really special about pictures versus just our digital pictures on our phone. So, just think this is a lot of fun. Again, really pretty color, this green, um, with so many people kind of going towards, you know, that mid-century modern um, vibe, greens and oranges and yellows, and just, you know, some interesting patterns. And I think that that would go great with that. Um, I did pick up a Hagar vase. So let me turn it the right way. It is marked. And it's just the soft sage green. It's a really pretty little um, vase or planter. Um, it's just got this little texture to it. And I just really like it. And you don't find Hager, um, I mean, you do find a lot of Hager out in the wild, but you just don't always find them at the bins in good condition, no chips, no cracks for, again, probably 50 cents by the time you break it down to what I paid total. And let's see, I picked up a, <laughs> I picked up a little embroidery hoop. I tend to pick up stuff because I like to make a lot of things. I love um, making plant hangers and um, other wall decor and stuff like that. So I just, you know, always just grab little things like this because you never know when you can incorporate it into a DIY something or other. So I picked this up. I actually have probably about three or four in different sizes. So um, I think I might do a cute little project with this, but um, you know, it's just, they're $3.99 at the store. So why not? Um, I picked up, I don't really know why I'm going to put it on Facebook marketplace, but if you are young and of, um, young childbearing age, then you might know what a boppy is, or, or maybe you just know, I know what a boppy is, but it's basically like a little pillow for your infants or your, uh, newborns. People use them for nursing. So this is just the cover for it. And it's just a chambray and it's really in great condition. So I thought I'd put it up on marketplace for a few dollars, but, um, yeah, so hundred percent cotton little boppy cover. And then I picked up this cute little dish bowl. Um, it is red enamel um, painted on and uh, with this gold interior and then on the back it does say made in the USSR. So we know it's vintage. There's no question about it. Um, I think this would be great on the nightstand with your jewelry in it or Sometimes what I like to do is um, next to the kitchen sink, um, I tend to take my rings off when I am gonna do dishes. And so having something cute next to that where I can safely tuck this to the side and then come back to it when I'm all done and um, have my ring taken care of would be nice. So this is a cute little piece. 
So I think that's about it. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 about 20 items, so about 50 cents a piece. So I just had a great time. I will be cleaning all of these items up. Some things won't be listed individually because again, I like to do collections. So I will um, be gathering up collections and have those posted on probably my Etsy page for most items. Anything that's not vintage, I'll either put on Instagram or I will have um, on eBay. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Again, I'm going to do a plant video probably sometime tomorrow, just showing um, some of my plants. Most everything that I have my plants in have been thrifted here locally. So I just thought it would be a fun little video to do. The other video I have coming up soon is going to be the second stop that Joanne and I made after the bins to one of the Durham Mission stores. Um, and so we stopped there and I got a good little haul there as well. So I'll have that video up next. So hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you had a good start to your week. And uh, I don't mean to wish my week away, but I can't wait until Friday. So y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.